Hey Heidi, are you ready for Thanksgiving? Uh, I think so. Whether I'm not uh, quite ready or not, it's going to happen anyway. So um, I'm, I'm quickly getting up to speed. We've had people in shopping already today. Um, so first off, I want to say thank you to everybody that participated in the fundraiser for Buddy Williams. It was a wonderful, wonderful event at the Avery Country Club last Friday. And um, for those of you that came and supported, you, the generosity and the love in the room was just immense. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that opportunity to participate. And um, so we're looking forward now to this week, which is uh, Thanksgiving. We did most of our Thanksgiving wines last week. Um, I wanted to keep this week a little casual, kind of lighthearted fun. So we've picked some wines uh, from Oregon. It's Wines by Joe. We've got three of the wines by Joe, and then his Jovino label, and also Dobbs. Joe Dobbs happens to be the winemaker. And so, um, anyhow, uh, we are starting off with the uh, Pinot Gris. This is the really good wine by Joe. Uh, Pinot Gris, 100% Pinot Gris, all stainless steel, fermented and aged. Nice citrus notes on this, wonderful bright acidity. Um, when, you, when you ferment and age in stainless steel, it keeps that bright acidity, food-friendly levels of acidity, and also the nice aromatics. Um, next, we're moving on to the Muy Bueno uh, wine by Joe, which is the Rosé. This is predominantly Pinot Noir. It also has Pinot Blanc, a little bit, a little bit of Muscat, and Syrah. So it's got this gorgeous color. Um, you know me, I'm always talking about dry Rosé, and I think it goes really well with Thanksgiving. Um, so, if you like a fun label on the table, you can certainly do this one. If not, we've got quite a selection of dry rosé that we're offering. Um, next, we're moving on to the really good Pinot Noir. Um, these, these represent a lighter style Pinot, um, showcasing more of that bright acidity. This is 100% uh, Pinot Noir. Um, and so you're getting more of the raspberry notes on these first two wines. Uh, moving on to the Jovino. Moving on to the Jovino. Can I have another glass of that one? Oh, absolutely. Jason came in early and he uh, did some of his Thanksgiving shopping. Um, and I guess you're enjoying this Jovino? Absolutely. Wonderful. Pour some of that in there for you. And what are you thankful for this year? Family and friends. Good for you. All right, wonderful. Well, I'll catch you out on the patio. All righty, so that's the uh, Jovino. I know we're going to sell out of this rather quickly because um, I've already sold several bottles this morning and it's only Tuesday. Last, we're going on to the um, Dobbs Family Estate. Um, this one is the only one that's designated as Willamette. Um, these are all Oregon. This is specifically Willamette. And this is the Grand Assemblage. So they're pulling from different vineyards in, um, in Willamette. This one sees a little bit more oak. It's all 100% French oak. And this is a more masculine style Pinot Noir. It has um, a little more of that dark cherry flavor and, and blackberry. Um, nice little bit of cedar um, and, and a hint of leather on this particular wine. So these are wonderful selections for this week, whether they're going to be on the table for Thanksgiving or you're just going to enjoy wine or come out here and join Jason on the patio. You can absolutely do that as well. Um, but we have still several wines here that we think are perfect with your Thanksgiving. So come on in and see us. We will be closed on Thursday uh, and also Friday reopening on Saturday. So um, plan your schedule around it. And everybody have a wonderful, safe, happy, uh, food-driven, wine-drinking, Thanksgiving. See you soon. Bye-bye.